Hello, welcome to Views Lab. Today, I'm going to read you a book about the importance of an idea. It's called What Do You Do With an Idea? Written by Kobe Yamada. One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do we do with the idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it. I just walked away from it. After I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What will, would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there, was some, but there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when I was alone. I wanted food, I wanted to play, actually it won a lot of attention. It grew bigger and bigger and we became friends. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And, there's, and many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I always listened to them. But then I realized what do they really know? This is my idea. I thought no one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different, weird and maybe a little bit crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my own attention. My dear grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built a new house, one of the open rooms, where it can look up at the star, place where it will be safe to gym. I like being with my idea, made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger, to the secrets with me, it showed me how to walk on the hands because it said it's good to have the ability to see things differently. Then one day something amazing happened. My idea trained right before my very eyes. Spread it wing, took flight, and burst into the sky. I didn't know how to describe it, but it went from being here 
to be everywhere. No one's just part of me anymore, it's just part of everything. And then I realized what you do with the idea. You change the world. Wasn't that a good book? Never ever give up on your ideas or dreams. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed the weekend and your sunshine.